Well, call it the sidewalk shuffle. Commuters taking baby steps to avoid taking a spill on this ice covered sidewalk in the loop. It is a trouble spot Vince Gerasoli first showed us last November and it's still an icy mess. Vince is there live now. Vince. Eric and Brad, this is a cold version of deja vu all over again. We're going to widen out and I'll show you what we're talking about. This is the icy surface that's still on this sidewalk. It's beside a pretty pricey vacant lot in the loop. Now, someone did come by today and throw down some salt, but nobody came back to try to chip away at the ice that's still here and that's still causing problems for pedestrians as they walk back and forth to the train, train station. And as I said, we've seen this all before. It's looking slick on the corner of Washington and Franklin, where a glistening sheet of ice covered the sidewalk more than a day after an early snowfall. It's not like a skating rink, but it's dangerous. It's, uh, you have to be extra careful. Pedestrians stepped gingerly over the ice or walked on the hard surfaces of the neighboring vacant lot. Describe the sidewalk to our viewers. An icy mess. Very scary. <laughs> it is. I'm, I was walking super slow because I was scared I was going to trip. Keep in mind, we've seen this all before, right here on CBS2. Things were admittedly a little bit more slippery last November, but look at this side-by-side -side comparison of the corner. That's November 2018 on the left and today on the right. In each case, folks stepped lightly over uncleared slick ice over 24 hours after a snowfall. Were you afraid you were going to fall? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing uh, pretty slippery shoes uh, to begin with, and it doesn't help with having a bunch of ice. Somehow, not long after our cameras showed up, so did a maintenance worker who began salting the sidewalk, but the ice remained. Public records list the owners as CC Industries, ranked 310 by Forbes magazine on its list of America's largest private companies. I told my husband I would walk single file behind him because I didn't want to fall. And then I held onto his arm just for, to steady. We have a problem here, especially with me and with the cane. It's rather risky walking. CC Industries told us that they do have a contract with someone to remove the ice and snow from this location. However, it doesn't kick in until December 1st. They were cited by the city today and were cited twice by the city last year. Reporting live from The Loop, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Careful.